Welcome to our channel. Today, we are exploring an important topic in the realm of infectious diseases, Marburg virus disease. This viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by the Marburg virus, a member of the phylovirus family, which also includes the Ebola virus. First identified in 1967 during simultaneous outbreaks in Marburg and Frankfurt in Germany, as well as Belgrade in what was then Yugoslavia, Marburg virus disease closely resembles Ebola, yet it has its distinct features and challenges. The Marburg virus is zoonotic, meaning it originates in animals and can be transmitted to humans. The natural hosts of the virus are fruit bats, specifically the Rousetta species, found in various regions of Africa. Human infections often occur through direct contact with bad bodies or through environments contaminated with bad secretions. Once the virus spills over from its animal reservoir, it can lead to outbreaks primarily in Africa, particularly in countries like Angola, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Uganda. Transmission among humans occurs through direct contact with bodily fluids of infected individuals, which includes blood, saliva, sweat, and vomit, as well as through contaminated surfaces and medical equipment. Healthcare workers are particularly at risk if appropriate infection prevention measures are not in place. The virus can also be transmitted through sexual contact, as it may persist in bodily fluids for extended periods after a person has survived the disease. The incubation period for Marburg virus disease typically ranges from 2 to 21 days, with symptoms beginning suddenly. Initial signs may include high fever, severe headache, muscle pain, and malaise. As the disease progresses, patients may experience vomiting, diarrhea, and in severe cases, bleeding from various parts of the body, including the gastrointestinal tract, which can lead to shock and organ failure. Diagnosis of Marburg virus disease can be challenging particularly in the early stages when symptoms resemble other infectious diseases. Laboratory tests, including polymerase chain reaction or PCR tests, serological tests, and viral cultures, are necessary to confirm the presence of the virus. However, rapid diagnosis and isolation of patients are crucial to limiting outbreaks. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for Marburg virus disease. Supportive care is vital including hydration, electrolyte balance, and symptomatic management. Experimental treatments and vaccines are under investigation, with some showing promise in clinical trials, but none are yet widely available. Fundamental public health measures, such as surveillance, prompt case identification, and stringent contact tracing, remain critical in controlling outbreaks. Prevention strategies focus on minimizing the risk of transmission. This includes educating communities about the risks associated with handling bats or bushmeat and the importance of personal protective equipment for healthcare workers. In outbreak situations, quarantine and isolation protocols are essential to prevent further spread of the virus. Emotional and psychological support for survivors and communities affected by Marburg virus disease is equally important, as the stigma associated with the disease can hinder control efforts. Engaging with communities through outreach and education can empower individuals to take proactive precautions and participate in efforts to contain the virus. As we continue to monitor and study the Marburg virus, awareness and preparedness are essential tools in managing the threat it poses. By understanding the disease, recognizing the signs and symptoms, and implementing preventive measures, we can contribute to global health security. Thank you for watching this informative video on Marburg virus disease. If you found it helpful, Please like, subscribe, and share this knowledge with others. Stay safe and see you in the next video.